Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. How is it going? It's good to see you guys again. Of course, we're back playing more Marvel Heroes Omega. At least this time, I didn't say Reborn. So, what we're actually here to do today is to take a look at the characters that have actually moved up to level 60 and take the Marvelous Loot Crates that you receive for that and open them and see what we get. Uh, so, since the full release of the game onto the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, there's been some changes to the costume, uh, costume lists and the way you get costumes. So the, the, mo the easiest way to get a costume now, well, easiest, the only way, is through um, finding them inside the Marvelous crates. And on top of that, you actually still receive Marvelous Essence, which can then allow you to buy a series of costumes that have been released for you to pick out from on the actual, um, in the Moon Dragon Marvelous Essence store. So um, yeah, we're going to jump in. I'm going to take a look at the characters that I have already completed. So I have Blade, Captain Marvel, Hulk, Kitty Pride, Spider-Man, She-Hulk, Rocket Raccoon, Magic, Squirrel Girl, Wolverine, and, Th well, Thor's not quite finished. Whoops. <laughs> so we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 crates. Now, we actually have more than 10 crates to open. That's uh, because you get another 4 crates for completing your first hero at level 15, 30, 45, and 60. Well, let's see where we got. Then go into storage. Supplies, boxes. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So in total, we've got twelve marvelous crates to open. Yeah, just make sure the rest of those are all shield drop ones. So we're going to retrieve these. One. Oh, my inventory. What? Why is my inventory full? Okay. Sorry, guys. I have to actually make a quick drop here because I must have just finished the game and then didn't clear. Uh, yeah, that'll be the reason why. Clear out the pockets and get rid of the craps. Um, another shield supply drop box. Um, something from one of the plot things. And yeah, we should be able to take them out now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What the hell? Why are you not let me? Did I not get rid of this stuff quick enough? Sorry about this. It's actually a minor delay to actually be able to open the boxes, but I just need to get rid of some crap here out of my gear boxes or gear pockets. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, we don't need all those boots. We don't need any of those boots, to be honest. There we go. Ah, the life of a unboxer. So, right, we got all the boxes. Now ready to rock and roll. I was told the last time that a good move would actually be to switch headquarters and go to the shield training room so that nobody else's uh, comments and stuff could actually be disturbing us while we open the crates, which is a very, very good idea. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to sit here in a safe space and be able to go through our crates without any noises interfering and interrupting how I'm going to speak while I'm actually doing these. We've got 12 boxes right here. Oh, we need to... Because they're level 60 ones, we need to grab a level 60 character. So let's do this as Squirrel Girl. I do love me. Is winter over already? Well, there we go. Uh, go into the inventory, into our supplies. Boxes are all available to be opened. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 boxes to open. So what are we going to get in 13 boxes? Um, I have no idea. Let's find out. Let's open well, box number one. All right. Ten legendary marks, four marvelous essence, a credit chest, a garbage credit chest, well, only at 5,000, 10,000 credit chest, and two experience boosts, which I do enjoy because it helps me get these characters up to their highest levels. Experience boosts and combination boosts are always our friends. Uh, they still cost reasonably a little bit, but I would rather be spending my marvelous essence on costume, someone that's permanent. 25 marvelous essence, four marvelous essence, a crappy credit chest again, astral essence, and chest of 50 marvelous essence. So, nice, that was actually. In that one box, it was 79 Marvelous Essence. That's not too bad. Um, the Cosmic Rarity costume you already have, I only received that because of the costume I already own. Uh, I own a lot of the costume because of buying the character packs. So it's very, it's a lot, I'm gonna see that more commonly than most, but um, that would have been a costume. So we actually had got at least one costume so far out of the pack. Just it's not one that I don't already have. Deadpool Unmasked! Nice! Awesome! That's actually not too bad. Cool. So, um, that's the... Uh, that's a, I didn't really care for any of the Deadpool costumes. Um, I already had the Zen one from buying them in a pack. So, the Deadpool Unmasked costume is a nice touch. Uh, it would be probably the one I would use now. 
uh, for Marvel Assassins, a minor experience boost gives you plus 10%, enhanced genome, and a matrix of unbinding. Our good old friend, the matrix of unbinding, which is kind of garbage. I, like, I just, I'm only saying it because I have like 40 of them now, and I don't need any more of them as it is. I'm not taking any characters I'm talking about. Two Eternity Splendors, 10 Marvel Assassins, 4 Marvel Assassins, so 14 all together. Another Matrix of Unbinding, and Relics of Xandar. Liking getting Relics, I've actually bought, got a stack out of the last 25 crates that I did, which was uh, two more Relics. So that was actually pretty cool to have. Four Marvel Assassins, a minor experience boost of another 10%. A credit Chest, a reasonable one. Cosmic Fragments as a crafting material. I really don't think crafting material should be in here. Gear, more so than crafting material. Credit chest for 100,000, not too bad, but also credits are not not hard to come by. Four Marvel Assassins, mechanical components, credit chest, random hero ultimate gift, random hero ultimate gift, so that's actually for leveling up random uh, ultimates for some character. Uh, see, I don't know who it is I'm gonna get in those, so that'll be interesting to get. Um, if it's a character I don't already own, or it's not, it's not a, a character I already own characters now, uh, it's not a character that I don't already have maxed out, it'll be kind of a waste and just filling up my pocket space, but it could be useful. War Marvel Assassins, Lightweight Armor Plate, Unstable Molecules, Large Character Experience Token for Rocket Raccoon. Nice, that'll actually help me get uh, Rocket up to 60. Um, no, I haven't done Rocket to 60, have I? Oh, I think I have. No, I haven't. Yay, excellent. So, experience boost by two, another two of those, that's awesome. Hulk Marvel Now costume! Uh, that's grand, I've actually been only using the default Hulk costumes, I'm not a big fan of any of the ones that came uh, packaged in with any of the Avenger costumes and stuff, like the ones from uh, Age of Ultron. I don't, just don't like the look of his face, but actually I like the design of the Marvel Now costume. It's just big armor on uh, a Hulk face. So 5 legendary marks, another 10 legendary marks with 15 all together, 4 marvel assassins, and a shitty little credit chest. So that's 2 costumes, 3 total costumes so far that I've actually gotten that I didn't already have. 25 eternity splinters, 4 marvel assassins, the punisher spray paint, a relic of Xandar by 10, and 10 cosmic fragments. Um, yeah, hmm. Not, not, not a horrible crit, but yeah, eternity splinters, uh, something that we find fairly commonly, uh, help you buy a character if you didn't already have one, that's probably fine. Four Marvel Assassins, a small character experience token for Iron Man, Astro Assassins, experience boost by two and a shield supply boost. So yeah, happy enough getting this experience boost. Any experience boost of any kind, pretty much a stack of five will get me from zero to 60 in a single playthrough. So that works for me perfectly fine. I've got at least one character's worth of experience boosts. Black Panther Urban Jungle, nice. That's cool, that's actually not too bad, I like that costume. So that's what, four costumes and uh, two that I really wanted. Uh, Deadpool, I'm not too concerned about, but yeah, but Black Panther Urban Jungle looks pretty cool. Uh, the one with the cape, obviously, as he says it. Uh, two Eternal Splinters, ten Legendary Marks, four Marvel Assassins, and an Enhanced Genome. So that's... What am I doing? Nice. Like, Hibernating? Like, for these earned boxes, I don't. it just feels like, maybe it's just because the... Uh, costumes are a lot more common now, but finding four in 13 boxes isn't bad. Um, oh, we got Five legendary marks, four Marvel Assassins, a experience token for Captain Marvel, who I already have maxed out. Uh, Relic of the Gibrahim, awesome, that's the ones I like. Uh, they just are pretty good for health and attack. Uh, well, health and spirit, sorry. A chest of 50 Marvelous Essence, yep, so... Like, 50... I've got at least one costume in essence alone from the crates and then the four costumes I already got or the three costumes I got otherwise So what we're we down to we're down to the last marvelous loot box. This is the last of 13 unlucky number 13 What have we got inside it? Two eternity splinters, ten eternity splinters, ten eternity splinters, four marvelous essence and a credit chest Yeah, that was actually a fairly unlucky one, but the 22 eternity splinters oh, that's a nice boost But I mean that's only useful for people who are still buying characters really because you can't buy, you used to be able to buy costumes with the Eternity Splinters as well, could you? Or was it just money or geez? But um, at the point now, I am prepped, I am ready, I can, <laughs> any new cards that come out, I'm probably going to pick them up this way through Eternity Splinters because I've got a stack, I've got an insane amount of them. I think I've probably got about a thousand, two thousand now at this point. Four Marvel Assassins and a credit chest. So looking good and grand, but not an amazing crate for the last one. But what can you say? 
Sorry for the momentary split and break. Obviously, My had some phone here, call so arrived. Why wait around? Recording, so of course I had to do it. I had to drop it in the middle of it so that we could pick up again immediately afterwards. So uh, yeah, what I ended up doing was I literally was just going in the process of checking out what was inside the delivery box that uh, didn't fit in my pocket, which obviously was a series of tokens and bits and pieces and materials, but also checking out the currency that I currently have on the account. Now, Eternity Splitter 649, that's going to actually go straight into any new characters that get released over the next period of time. I have had no idea, I've heard any idea from Gazillion which characters they're going to be releasing, when they're going to be releasing any new content. Um, as it is now, it's feeling a bit... Everything's feeling a bit blah, because I'm not feeling like there's actually an effort to kind of like throw more stuff at us really, really quickly, but I think that could be just because they want they, they want actually people to spend time with the content, and I feel like I've been burning through it at a higher pace than some other people might have been. So, uh, yeah, that was the valuable crates of 13 uh, Marvelous Essence crates. Um, there's not much else to really say, other than the drop rates obviously look a lot more... They obviously... They're obviously a lot better than we previously worried about. The uh, co the costumes dropping on a more regular basis, but I'm not pleased by the fact that uh, so many of them are locked behind paid crates. Uh, whatever costumes I got there, of course, Black Panther, River Jungle, Cape, and uh, what was the other ones that actually ended up popping up? It was Urban Jungle, Cape, it was Deadpool, Unmasked, which is uh, one that you'd actually buy in otherwise. And what was the other one? Oh yes, Hulk, Marvel now. I mean, I've actually got all the viable crate costumes for that character now. Yep. See, I'm sure there's ones that I actually haven't seen or actually have popped up elsewhere, but I own pretty much every other costume from purchasing. So there we go. It's all like the Civil War costume. Yeah, that's that's what the difference is. So we've got a whole bunch to actually still unlock over time, but I've, as it feels like the costumes are like the least of my concerns. Literally now, I would actually, if I was opening Marvel's Essence boxes, I'd just want the Essence and I'd actually want the experience boosts because of the cost they actually are. Because they, the cost isn't too, too restrictive. I mean, it's a hey, geez, it's still real money. It's like what ten bucks for the kind of boost. But if I can find out, is there a Moon Dragon here? Yeah, Moon Dragon. Yeah, Moon Dragon. There you are. Your mind is about to play tricks on you. What the boost actually costs, so it's what? 40 for combination and 20 for experiences. So you're going to spend... Yeah. You're going to spend 100 Marvelous Essence just on one character, 0 to 60, essentially. And that's a uh, reason. That's pretty expensive when it comes to Essence, even though I've got enough to probably buy the rest of the costumes that I need. But yeah, that's still not very pleasant. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. This has of course been another Marvel Heroes Omega video. If you actually enjoyed yourself, make sure to hit the subscribe button up there. I, this has been a, this rambled on past the point of actually just showing you the crates, so uh, thank you very much for sticking around here to the end. And uh, if you enjoyed the content of the channel, make sure to actually subscribe to Pastiche of Skin. It is right there for the express purposes of making sure you know how to spell it, so you can Google it, if you don't want to have to actually subscribe to it. And of course, if I do this, on YouTube, there'll be a box popped up above me that hits subscribe, hit to subscribe, and over to the side will actually be a series of videos that actually are uh, things I've done up recently on the channel, playlists that I recommend, and of course, a video is just for you, based on your user preferences and your tags and all the things that you actually look for on YouTube. That one will be probably something that you'll want to see. More than likely, if you're watching one of my Marvel Heroes Omega videos, it'll probably be another Heroes Omega video, maybe an older one, but you can check that out if you feel like it. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see all you dudes in the next crate opening. Bye.